Hello everyone, this is Jackie Reed. I am a CNN correspondent and this is a very, 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 very exciting day in the world of journalism. I am going to be interviewing the lovely Miss Di. She is a very controversial character because of her choices of style and I am a big, 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 big fan. I am will have to tone down my enthusiasm because it's unprofessional to be groupy like when you're interviewing someone. But I'm very curious and I just want to pick her brain about her ideas on things because she is truly an original. Hi Miss Don! I'm so excited to meet you. Oh, thank you very much. Um what brings you here? Well, well, well. I'm just wondering, as does the public, what motivates your controversial choices in hairstyles and makeup? Ma'am, to put it simply, I just want to be myself. And I don't want to do what everyone else is doing and follow anybody. I want to be a leader and a trendsetter. I don't see many people in my area with multicolored hair that are brown or darker skinned individuals and willing to take risks with their appearance. Well, there's a young lady all the way from London who has a question for you. The lovely Miss Dime. My name is Martha Kensington. And I just want to ask you, are you aware that a lot of people may think that you're a bit eccentric, a bit mad, mate? I just want, don't want you to embarrass yourself. I want you to see that others may shun you or you may be a social pariah for your choices in things that you do. Well, Miss, well, Miss Kensington. My whole purpose in life is not to bend and twist and be a contortionist for other people's um, definition of what I should be, what I should look like, what is acceptable, what's not acceptable. I determine what's acceptable for myself. Other people can always have an opinion, but if I changed for everyone's opinion, I would be changing for the rest of my life. And to me, that's a bit strange and whimsical. Well, 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 Miss Dawn, I... So, you have a revolutionary idea, and that is to actually think for yourself and not be so influenced by everyone and everything around you. <gasps> That is such a foreign concept. I never thought of that before. Maybe, just maybe, you're on to something about letting people define what is beautiful for themselves rather than follow what other people consider to be attractive. You are definitely a smart cookie. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I know that was a bit strange, but I did that to illustrate a point. You don't have to follow rules of fashion or rules of hairstyling. I don't get my tips from magazines or nine people in a room that say this is what you're supposed to look like because that's why people are so disillusioned now. Dove did a commercial about no wonder our standard of beauty is warped because they took this regular looking average woman and morphed her into some photoshopped airbrushed um, sex goddess and no person can actually look like that without digital tweaking. So my whole thing is regular ordinary people can choose to have their own personal style that is not just limited to celebrities which I will put up examples because I don't see 
too many people and even the people that I see I'm sure they would not want their pictures up but I'm going to put pictures up of people who I not idolize and don't get it twisted I just think their personal styles are amazing and other people may think it's a bit out there but I personally like it and my most favorite is Grace Jones a lot of people probably thought that she was nuts for a lot of things that she did but I personally think that she's stunning and fabulous and the second one um, is a rapper um, her name is Nicki Minaj um, I don't personally like all of her music her she has a wonderful production team but one thing that I do like about her even though her look is rather too risque for my taste I love her multicolored hair I love the fact that she can go completely green and not care what people think and um, also I like Missy Elliott I really do like her style because even through hip-hop or rap or whatever the genre name is called um, she was cutting edge a lot of people did not think she fit the image of what somebody in rap should look like especially a female because you're supposed to be um, some type of sex goddess in some people's mind to fit a formula and in one of her videos I don't remember which one it was maybe super duper fly super duper fly um she wore a trash can I mean not a trash can trash bag and she looked amazing in it a lot of people were probably like she looks like a darn fool but I personally thought it was creative and it was edgy and people just be true to yourself if you have a more conventional conservative look don't just follow what I say because you like me as a person do whatever you want to do but other people who do want to follow what I'm doing and want to be unconventional don't let people um, make you feel like less than you are because you want to express yourself um, don't let people make you feel inferior because no one can do that without your consent stand up tall and have confidence in what you do yesterday I received some very nasty comments on Facebook regarding my personal look and I was very insulted because that stuff came from a fellow sister and some of the most rude comments have come to me have come from black females and I hate to say it but when things like that are said and done it makes the sergeant Willie Peets and his minions right that black women do have an attitude that black women are bees and to be honest that was rather beeish what the person did because they weren't trying to help they were trying to embarrass and humiliate somebody and that is hurtful there is a line between honesty and tactful and that person obviously doesn't know the um, definition and that person just for a background is a hair and makeup artist um, however I have not seen their work at a Thing that I would consider reputable like a beauty pageant or America's Next Top Model or Fashion Week in Milan or um, Paris or something like that where she is internationally sought after for her opinion um let me roll the credits to the fashion consultants for most TV shows um, or reputable things and I'm waiting for her name wait for it wait for it wait for it um I don't see her name so she's just a person with a big mouth and doesn't 
doesn't know when to take a um, tall glass or shut the H up and just needs to mind her own business and let people do what they do. And for a person who is over 30, that is rather immature. But I just had to get that off of my chest. I hope you all um, realize that even though I have done videos where I have said I really don't care what people think um, to an extent, um, sometimes harsh words can really hurt. And I was hurt yesterday and I'm woman enough to admit it. Sometimes we feel that admitting that our feelings were hurt is childlike and immature. But I'm adult enough to say that it was really insulting and offensive to me. And I have the, the right to feel that way, as do other people have the right to express their opinions. But it's the way you express your opinion. Like, for example, if someone is overweight, dear, I care about you very much and want you to be around as long as possible. Um, I'd like to work with you to make some healthier choices and somebody can be like oh girl you know you are fat as heck you look big as a float you look you look like um something that would be on display at SeaWorld see same message but mode of delivery is kind of bitch and there's a difference between having sophistication and class when you say something as opposed to acting like you were raised in a cave. And that's my personal opinion. So other people, just remember to... I'm not trying to rob people of their right to an opinion. I'm just trying to let this be a teachable moment. This wasn't to embarrass anyone or to take um, their right to free speech and expression away. It's just to teach as that person called themselves trying to teach me about the hair and makeup industry that even for an adult, even for a person who's three times seven plus, you can still learn to be tactful. And it's not ladylike to say everything that you think. Some thoughts should just remain a thought. It doesn't necessarily have to come out of your mouth. And that's what I personally think and believe. And I don't care if people think I'm insecure or I have low self-esteem because I want to say what I want to say. It's, it's my channel. And like I said, I wasn't saying it to be insulting. I just wanted to illustrate a point. Well, have a great day. Bye-bye.